Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this Katago Chic Sea Line i 5.9 XL LE. This one's on a Mercedes chassis, it's got a fully automatic gearbox, double axle or twin axle, absolute beast and I'm super excited to demonstrate it. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you like the videos, click a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or if you've got anything you'd like to say at all, do leave a comment in the description below. So here we are at the business end of this RV or motorhome. Really big grill and you've got that Mercedes badge on the front, which of course is known for its quality. And then the big Katago badge at the top, which as you're well aware, guys, is one of the leading brands in Europe for motorhomes, the premium side of motorhomes anyway. Right, so it's got daytime running lights on the front and it's got this huge windscreen as well, which gives you excellent visibility as you're driving it. As we move around the side, let's take a proper look at this, shall we? So this vehicle can be either on a left-hand drive or a right-hand drive. This vehicle that I'm showing you at the moment is actually a left-hand drive. As you open the door, let me just show you this actually. So close the door, step pops in, open the door, step pops out, which gives you great access into the vehicle. Now, obviously this would be the passenger side if you had it on a left-hand drive. So your passenger's gonna have a nice little step to get in. Underneath here, we've got lots and lots of storage. So these vehicles are double floored. And what this means is that you have sort of like an underfloor heating system, um, which is gonna keep your feet warm on the wood as you're walking around. And of course, you've got lots of storage under here, so you can basically put skis, all sorts of bits and bobs, and you can actually gain access to this storage from inside the vehicle. They give you a little light in here as well, so you can turn the light on, so you can actually see what's going on in the dark in there. Um, so that's great. I mean, one of the things that Katago are really known for is the storage that they give you. And this one doesn't, well, this one's not gonna let you down. Um, inside here is where you store the gas. And then we've got these lovely black alloys, the Mercedes wheels. And obviously you've got six wheels on this vehicle, which is really good for stability on the road. This is what I'm super impressed with. And I'll put the dimensions of this garage on the screen for you, but look at the size of this garage. In here, you've got a checker floor plate, so that's not gonna get damaged. Also, you've got some tie uh, cables in here as well, some bungee cord to keep things attached to it. And if you have a look at these, these are actually a part of the extra traveling seat, which can be fitted inside. So this particular vehicle has got five traveling seats. So two in the front and three in the back. At the back of the vehicle, Lovely LED lights in the shape of a C for Katago. This one's had a tow bar added to it. Again, you've got the Mercedes uh, sign on there, chic C line, and then the big Katago badge at the top. And of course, you've got a reversing camera on this as well. I really like the color of this. Um, it's almost like a unique color to Katago actually. And then the graphics down the side in this silver, dark gray, and obviously the gold really set it off. They finish it off lovely. And of course you've got the alloy wheels, which I think look fantastic. Just to show you the other side of the garage, see if I can open this up for you one hand, one second. There we go. This is the other side of the garage. In here, you've got some little storage compartments to keep cables and things like that. And again, massive amount of space. And I'll give you the dimensions of this garage door on the on the screen shortly. But people ask me, what will I use this storage for? And the answer is anything you like, electric bikes, scooter, blow up tents, blow up canoes. You all know we take so much stuff with us these days as we're traveling and you can never have enough storage really. So that is spot on. You've got a huge Chule canopy running all the way along the top here. So that can be rolled out and there's two legs that drop down and obviously you can sit out there underneath the rain, so it protects you from the rain and both the sun as well. 
Inside here, it's locked at the moment, but that, that's where the toilet cassette lives. So it's a slide out cassette and you just change it as and when it's full. Um, this here is basically like a little chimney and that's for the Aldi heating system. So this has got a wet heating system. So it's a lot like your central heating at home. Just above the habitation door, you have got an LED strip light. So obviously keep that uh, awning area illuminated of an evening. And then just in here, let's see if I can open this with one hand. There we go. This is the other side to the storage, which I was showing you earlier on. So check that out. A super amount of storage underneath there. And it's, well, honestly, you can never have too much of this. And Katago, it's part of their DNA to actually give you all of this extra storage and all built to a really, really high standard. What do you think to the look of this vehicle? It's gorgeous, isn't it? But the main event is actually not out here, but inside the vehicle. So let's go inside and have a proper look. So this is where you gain entrance to the vehicle. Of course, they've given you a fly screen, which will obviously protect you from the flies going inside or any mosquitoes or midges and things like that. Um, but actually, before we go inside, do remember guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel, like, so click the thumbs up and also leave a comment below. If you've got any questions at all, then do. Also, wanted to say a big thank you to Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury for letting me come out to Germany and actually demonstrate these motorhomes for you today. But if you're interested in any of the Katago range or motorhomes in general, then do check those guys out. Right, so as we're going in, obviously we've got an electric step just here, really substantial habitation door with privacy blind. And then just into the left, you've got the controls for the lights. So let's turn the lights on for you. There we go. Right, so going in, here we go. Look at the lounge area. Look at this, it's amazing. You've got a really nice sofa here, huge television, which is actually an electric TV, which just sits back down and lives behind this sofa. So when you're traveling, that can just go down. Or even when you're stationary and you don't want people to see you've got a big TV there, you can drop that down. Nice corner sofa here, so L-shaped -sha -sha lounge. And then just behind, these seats do have three-point harness, so they've got seat belts. So you've got two forward-facing seats with traveling belts. And of course, in the front, both of the seats do swivel around. So they're captain seats. And you'll notice they've both got armrests on both sides, which is very comfortable to sit in. The leather that they're using for this is amazing. You do have the option of what color leather, what materials that you want with them, but I really like this one actually. This is very, very posh. <laughs> um, just above this seating area, we've got the cupboard space. So again, lots of storage, um, even giving you a bit of storage in here as well. So they're using every inch, every millimeter, all for storage. And obviously everything's been used to its full potential. Just above the cab area, you'll notice this big area here, and that's a big drop down double bed that comes down, which I'll show you later on, uh, but that is very cool. Um, also at the front, you do have blinds that go all the way around as well. So you've got privacy all the way around the front there. And also when that bed drops down, it's got kind of like a material around it, which also gives you privacy as well, but I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Just down here, this area can actually be converted into another forward facing seat. So if you remember that seat that I showed you in the garage, that clips into here, uh, these cushions are removed. So you've got another traveling seat here. So you'd have three seats in a row along the front. Just to go with the storage theme, <laughs> let's have a look in here. So nice, sturdy catches. Everything's made to a very high standard with this. And then you just pop that open and look at that. Look at the amount of storage you've got under there. And as I mentioned earlier on, you can slide things in from the outside, which will obviously end up here. And then you can bring them in from the inside, which is really, really handy. If, you're on, if you've got a rainy day or something like that, then that is perfect. And it saves you messing about going outside and getting all, getting all wet. Um, in here, you've got a shoe rack, so somewhere to keep your shoes. Uh, if you're anything like, well, my other half, she's got 
God knows how many shoes. You'd need this storage to, um, <laughs> to, to just take her shoes, I think. Kitchen area, really, really nicely put together. Beautiful gloss finish. This here is a bit of extra work surface and also it can be used as a chopping board, but it also doubles up so that it'll cover the sink. So you've got this nice flat area for preparing all your food. And then just to the left of that, you've got three gas burners uh, for doing your cooking. And that's a nice size, actually. It's not too big, not too small, just perfect. Um, just above all of that, we've got some storage. So we've got a big cupboard here for putting all your plates and things like that in. And to the right of that, look at this. You've got your own little bar. You've got two Katago glasses at the top, wine glasses, and also some long glasses just down there. And they are branded with the Katago brand, which looks so good. They're really, really posh, I have to say. Um, just to the right, just here, this is a coffee making machine. And you have got plug sockets underneath here to plug in your kettle or whatever you might need to use here. And then just below, let's have a look, see what we've got here. So let's open this one up. So in there looks like you could keep wine bottles and things like that in there. And then just the next one, let's have a look. Big drawer, another big drawer. And then the bottom one, a huge drawer. Look at that. And that's really ideal for keeping, you know, big pots and pans and things. And then just to the right of it, look at that. <laughs> it's even got its own little, uh, or two bins. So you've got your, your own sort of recycling. So you can have your plastics and your, and your waste. That's clever, isn't it? Um, to the right of that, more drawer space. And I'll guess this one's for your cutlery. Big drawer there and a huge one at the bottom. And these are all soft closing as well, by the way, guys. Check out all the LED lights in here. Look at this. Let me just point it out to you. So all the way around here underneath, and you can control these all individually and you can also dim them so they're dimmable. Just up on the top, this one's had the habitation aircon fitted to it, um, but everything with these or a lot of the things with these are extras. So do check out the Katago website where you can kind of look at all the specification and details of these vehicles. Just here, we've got a massive fridge freezer and that's one of those cool fridges that actually opens up both ways. Look at that. And the same with the freezer on the top, opens up from both ways. And then you've got a little grill oven on the top there as well. Look at that. To the left of all of that, just above the habitation door, you've got the control for the Aldi heating system. So that's your wet heating system, which if you remember, I said it's like your central heating at home, which is really nice, actually. And then you've got your control panel just here for um, controlling, well, basically everything. Um, you can see your levels on that for your water and all that sort of stuff. But... This is what I want to show you. This is what I'm here to show you. And this is what I'm excited about. But check this out first of all. So if you've got somebody in the front uh, who is in bed, or if you're in the back in bed, you can completely close this area off. So it's very private, this vehicle. And I like the separation, I have to say. And then you're going into the bathroom. Now, I'm not sure if the camera is going to show you this as well as I can see it. But this is a huge area. I mean, massive. Look at the floor space in here. This is your toilet and shower area. Look at this. You can get ready in here. You know, have, I mean, well, talk about getting, getting ready. Look at the mirror in this. Hollywood style mirror. Loads of storage inside there as well. Just below, you've got uh, toothbrush holders, soap dispenser, beautiful sink. And again, lots of storage beneath. Shower to the right hand side. And of course, that's completely separate. And you've also got a skylight just in the roof and you've even got a little rail there. So you could. Be nice space. You're not going to feel cramped in there at all. And you've got a nice radiator as well for hanging towels and things like that. And also that toilet, of course, is an electric flush. Uh, you can open the window in here and you have got privacy blind and mosquito net. And the same on the roof, actually. You've got a privacy blind and a mosquito net on the skylight up there. 
So, to the right of this, just down here, let's see what's in here. This is what you call a wardrobe. So it's a double wardrobe. You can hang things on the bottom and also you can hang things on the top. So there's lots of space in there. A lot of ladies that I see, they complain about motorhomes actually sometimes because they can't hang their dresses because the wardrobes are not big enough. But this one, you can very easily hang your dress. And they've also given you a little bit of extra wood here, which can be made as a shelf. So you can have a shelf. So you can basically have his and hers uh, wardrobes in there um or hers and hers whichever it might be or his and his who knows um at the back this is the bedroom so you've got two gorgeous size single beds which can be converted into a double um i'll put the dimensions of these beds on the screen for you in a second so you know how big they are and then underneath these beds just in here we've got some more wardrobe space some more hanging space and you can actually access that from the top as well so convenient you can actually well go in both ways which is which is very good Katago they think of everything same with this side you can lift it up or go inside and then if you want to have a double bed you don't want the two singles some people say to me why would you want two singles but then honestly when you're traveling and you're on holiday the two single beds is often really nice um you're not waking each other up um if it's a really hot country and you, you, you're separated from each other, so you're not going to get as hot. But you can turn this into a double, so you can pull this out like that. So the steps move with it as well. And then there's an infill cushion that goes into here, and that way it will turn into a transverse double bed, um, which again, you can leave made up if you like. Um, but great use of space again with Katago. Up top, I won't open every single cupboard, but you can see just along the top there, there's plenty of uh, storage, little cubby holes everywhere. Underneath, you've got the controls for all the lights. And at the back, you've got USB charging points. And also you've got three pin plug points as well. So you can plug in a laptop and things. And yeah, that's just gonna be a really comfortable place to be, isn't it? Up top, skylight. And of course the windows do open on the skylights and the windows and also you have got mosquito mosquito nets and blackout blinds on those as well but guys check it out what do you think to this beauty it's fantastic isn't it it really is one thing i just forgot to show you actually let's have a look i forgot to show you this when you're in bed you've got this little bit here you can pull that out look and then your TV basically pops out the side. So you can lie in bed, chilling out, watching the TV. If you want, you can leave this bedroom closed off as well. So you've got some privacy just to relax in there. Um, and yeah, this one as well. Let me just show you, actually. I might as well show you. I'm here, aren't I? So that closes across. This one unclips. That one closes across like that. So you can completely close off the bedroom. So not only can you close off the bedroom, you can also close off the bathroom, the toilet and the shower. So it's spectacular. But let's talk a little bit about the specification of this vehicle and also have a look at the cab. So this is probably one of the best cabs you can get for a motorhome. This is the Mercedes Sprinter cab. Of course, it's fully automatic. It's got multifunctional steering wheel. It's got the a uh, 10.2 inch MBUX system with satellite navigation, DAB radio, all that sort of stuff. Two cup holders either side, little storage compartment up on the top there. And yeah, that's just gonna be a really nice place to sit and travel. And I have to say these Mercedes are really smooth as you're driving along as well. I mean, super smooth, um, that they're fantastic. So let's have a look at the drop down bed and then we'll talk a bit about the spec of this vehicle. So just before I drop this bed down, I just want to point out what I've done is I've actually folded the two uh, seats forward. So that gives you space for this bed to come down. And um, but before I bring that down, I just want to point out this table actually. So this table is fixed, but it gives you a really nice kind of uh, area to eat or play cards, have some dinner, have a glass of wine, that sort of thing but it is movable. So you can literally press your foot on the button on the bottom. You can slide it left to right, forwards or back like this, or you can spin it all the way around 360. 
So it is very um, movable. So that is great. And it gives you space to walk through as well if you want it. Um, the double bed above literally has got a little catch just here. So you pull this catch, pull it down. And look at that. The curtains come down on the side as well. It's got a little switch up on the top for a lighting system. And this is super comfortable. So if your guests or friends or family are coming with you, you've got a very nice bed for them. So then guys, what did you think to this absolute beauty of a motorhome? I love it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Um, this one, of course, is the Chic C-Line i 5.99 XLLE on the Mercedes Sprinter. The specific mo the, the model that I've shown you in the showroom here at Cartago City has got lots of upgrades and extras, which you need to go onto the Cartago website to actually spec those up for your own vehicle. Um, this one, obviously, with the Mercedes, has got 170 brake horsepower. This one also has the super package, uh, the MBUX 10.2 inch multimedia system at the front. Um, the Mercedes Benz driving assistance package, obviously, the TV, the 40 inch TV. Uh, there's lots and lots of extras on this one. Uh, the base vehicle for this, so the actual starting price of this model is around £130,000 and then you need to add your options and extras onto it. Um, but fantastic. What do you think, guys? Do let me know. Um, there's lots more demonstrations on my channel. I've been here at Casago City uh, demonstrating lots of their vehicles. So do check those out. Also, if you're looking at something else, there are lots of other motomes and also camper vans on my channel. So do check those out. My name's Jonathan. This is the One Motome channel. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you soon. Keep watching.